Hello everyone and welcome to the AccuMed channel. Today we're excited to be reviewing Novita Respirators Model R5. Here's the listing. We purchased them through Novita's website. They come in a pack of $50 for $30. Now there's two things that I noticed on their website. First is that there aren't any reviews and the second is that they say FFP2 which means filtering face piece. FFP2 is a European standard and can be compared to America's N95 and China's KN95. They provide similar levels of protection for mask efficiency and their standard of masks filter at least 94% of all aerosols, including airborne viruses. Now let's go ahead and look at these before we run them through our TSI machine. Pretty simple packaging. Obviously, it's going to be a 50 pack for $30, so it's not going to be overwhelming as far as the packaging goes. Let's crack these open. And they are all individually wrapped, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and open one up. Oops. Now, let's test out the headband loops. Oops. It's all right construction. It's not bad at all. The nose wire isn't the stiffest. We're going to run them through the test and see how they hold up. Put this one on. And slide that one on the back of my neck. All right. So it is pretty secure on there. However, if you notice right here, there's a lot of collapse. So the breathability is not the best. Also, one thing that I look out for, take that off. That was a bit messy. One thing that I look for in masks is the material. Because if you're going to wear this for a prolonged period, you want something comfortable on the face and the material on this is a little bit scratchy. So if you have sensitive skin, it's not going to be the most comfortable thing to wear all day. Now let's go ahead and run these through our TSI machine and see how they do. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run the tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it on the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holding for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.94% with a pressure drop of 14.6 millimeters of water. The second sample tested at 99.64% and had a pressure drop of 14.7 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration tested at 99.91% and had a pressure drop of 15.2 millimeters of water. We're back from testing and being that these are the first FFP2 masks we've tested and have no other masks really to compare it to, these masks did pass the filtration efficiency test. However, we've seen bifold style masks test better in terms of pressure drop, but these are well within the standard and a good option in terms of the test results. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please let us know which mask we should test next. If you'd like to send us a mask or respirator, take a look at our description box below where I'll be leaving our address 
along with our website and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video.